Hello everyone. For today's Recycle, Repurpose, Reuse Stroke Use Your Scraps Challenge in the Facebook group, The Mixed Media Emporium, I want to use some Amazon packaging. I've got various um, pieces of paper that have been included in Amazon packaging that I've collected um, over the months. Um, lots of different colours and um, different paper types. Um, but I save these because I just think they're too precious to throw away. So what I'm going to do to start off with is take these away and cut them down into more manageable um, pieces and um, this one here is ideal and um, this one is kind of like an A4 letter size although I think it's slightly bigger slightly bigger here we go this one must be um, 12 and a half 13 inches by let's have a look by nine approximately um, nine and a quarter inches wide so I'm just going to take these off to my paper trimmer um, and cut some of these down and let's have a play I've got myself a whole wad of cut down papers and just to give you some examples this one here measures approximately seven and a half by seven and a half and you know for any of these that were too big as most of them were to fit um through my paper trimmer i've just folded them um, in half lengthways and you know just just chop them down accordingly um it doesn't matter about the creases and the wrinkles i think that all adds to the character of the pages um so you can see i've got lots of different colors lots of different sizes is um, and that's absolutely okay this one here being the largest now to start off with I'm going to use um, three flower stamps I've got these two here these were free with um, an art magazine a couple of years ago I've also got this one here which again was free from one of the craft magazines that you get in the supermarket so I've got three different um, designs here I'm going to start off by using jet black stays on ink um, ideally you want something permanent um, because if you do decide to add mixed media or use it you know for a mixed media background if it's not permanent so for instance if you use something like distress inks or distress um, oxides it's just going to bleed so I am starting with one of the largest stamps first and I'm just, I love the smell of this um, ink it smells like um, almonds absolutely wonderful so I'm just going to randomly put some of these over my background it doesn't matter if the um, images are not perfect that's absolutely fine try to be random about it have some hanging off the page turn your page around as well just to make it um, easier let's have this one here again we can have another one that's um, slightly off the the page try not to over overthink it and then maybe one over here as well and then I'm going to swap I've just changed um, my stamp over so inking up again and let's add some more images Try not to overthink it again as to where these these are going. I think it's easier if you start off in the middle and work your way out. But of course, you can do it in, in any way you, you like. Um, it's also good if you turn your paper around periodically as well. There we are. And then I'm just going to change the um, stamp over again. In fact, actually, we can use um, a slightly smaller stamp pad. And let's try and fill in um, some of the, the gaps. And it doesn't matter if some of them are um, darker or lighter than others. I might go and try and find um, a couple more um, stamped images as well of, um, of flowers just to add a bit more variety. In fact, I found one of my stamps from an old Dilution set, um, this stamp set here, and I thought this particular small um, stamp would work really well. So this is How Does Your Garden Grow? So just, you know, mix and match, dig out your old stamp sets. Now I do have um, one of the Your Creative Studio stamps um, as well. So I'm just going to, in fact, these don't stick very well, as we know. So I'm just going to just use my fingers to do this. 
and just add some of these images. You see, it's a beautiful stamp. It's just that they're not very good for using with your with your stamp blocks. But I mean, look how crisp that um, that image is. And because they're so thick as well, they're really easy to pick up and use with your with your fingers. I've also found a leaf that was again in the Dilution set. How does your garden grow? Um, again, it's got um, text and numerics and that kind of thing on it. So it goes with the with the theme. So let's try and fill in some more of the gaps. Doesn't really matter which orientation we have these these in. Just trying to fill in some of the the gaps and make it look more interesting. So I'm just going to keep going until the whole of this paper is is full. Isn't that cool? It just looks like a designer piece of paper, but just so easy to create yourself. Now, of course, you don't have to stick with black. Of course, this was the first one I did using my stays on in jet black. Love that one there. Um, next up, I tried this one here and I used Memento Ink and Espresso Truffle. Um, love that one there. I also tried one with white pigment ink. Um, this one takes longer to dry, so be warned if you decide to try this. I used Hero Hues, which is a Hero Arts um, pigment ink pad in Unicorn. So that was that one there. And then this one here, I tried various um, different colours of inks, um, mainly stays on. Stays on in olive green for the leaves, um, stays on mustard, fuchsia pink and a brilliance in rocket red. Um, my brilliance is running out of um, ink, so I don't know whether you can see, I double um, stamped here um, after spraying it with um, with just um, an ink refresher just to try and um, get some more pigment into my ink pads. I think I'm going to have to order um, a new re-inker for that one there, but isn't that pretty? let's do one with a stencil. I've pulled out um, four of my favourite colours here. I've got um, Persian Rose, Payne's Grey, um, Sky Blue Light and White. So I'm just going to use, use these colours here. I am going to start off with my favourite colour which is Sky Blue Light. So I'm just going to put some of this out onto a palette. I'll use my stamp block here. This will be fine and of course it's here in front of me anyway. So just a little bit of this. I've also got one of these um, little makeup sponges which I'm going to use. What I'm going to do is just stamp some of the paint on randomly all over my background. This is such a cool effect and I don't know whether any of you can remember me doing something similar with one of my masterboards using this um, same stencil. Um, and these same colours. Of course, it was much busier because um, I'd got a heavily um, patterned background, but, you know, let's try it on, on craft paper and see, see how it looks. So randomly stamping. And of course, you know, I've got some um, over stamping and that's OK. It doesn't matter. You know, at the end of the day, this is just um, junk paper that we're using here and we're just trying to create something pretty. So just try and move your stencil um, around um, in different orientations. Don't use too much paint either. If you have too much um, paint on your sponge, it will just spill out all over the place and um, you'll just end up with a horrible, horrible mess. Next up, I'm going to add some of this um, beautiful rose. Um, this is Persian Rose, another Amsterdam um, acrylic. Um, these are my favourite um, acrylic paints. And let's add another layer. Let's start off with this one here. Um, all of these leaves are exactly the same, so it really, really doesn't matter which one um, you decide to use. So let's try and fill in some of these gaps with this beautiful Persian, Persian rose. Isn't that pretty? And, you know, again, if we get some um, over um, stamping, that's fine. It doesn't matter. But I'm just going to keep turning this in different orientations 
just to try and build some um, interest. And let's add um, another layer. I've added some of the Payne's Grey onto my palette. Again, I've just gone and um, rinsed my, my sponge off. Let's start with this one here. And again, you just need a really small amount of, um, of paint. If you add too much paint, it just bleeds um, underneath your stencil. I'm using a different part of the stencil this time, although the shape is the same just because this one has started to um, lift a little bit that's fine um, but you know this will just add a beautiful contrast and so again I'm just going to go all over with this beautiful Payne's, Payne's Grey and again you know we're getting some over stamping and it's fine it doesn't matter Let's add one more layer with white. Now I'm using a fresh sponge just because I don't want to um, get it contaminated with any of the other colours I've used earlier. And again, I'm just going to fill in the gaps. I'm using an opaque white here. And yeah, you see that's just going to brighten um, everything up. So this is the white I'm using. Um, which is a De La Rowney, um graduate acrylic. I've done a couple of different um, colourways of these. Again, um, this one here using a magenta without the Payne's grey, um, just for a slightly different um, effect. Um, but, you know, these are just lovely. They feel so lovely. Just to hear that crinkle, just such a nice sound. So let me just try and squeeze all of these scrumptious papers onto the screen. But isn't this a wonderful way to use up your Amazon packaging i think these are absolutely delightful and i will be back soon to share some ideas as to how we can use these for backgrounds and in projects etc etc but if you've enjoyed today's video um i'd really appreciate a thumbs up do let me know what you think in the comments below don't forget to go and check out kylie's video and see what she's been up to this week but most importantly thanks for watching take care everyone and i'll see you all again soon bye for now